Well, I get a lot of questions about Fitbit battery life and Garmin battery life and Samsung battery life. So let's talk about that. How do you tell when your Fitbit Flex is just about dead? I'm going to show you how. Here we go. So this is uh, day 40, I think, wearing three fitness trackers. So on my left is the Samsung. So right here, you just double tap on your Fitbit Flex. And it tells you your indicator, and then right there, ah, there is a low battery. But it's not just low battery. I mean, that means when you get that red thing, that usually means it's really low. And if you go to the app, it will tell you how low. So now let's go to the app, and we'll find out how really low the battery is. Uh, on the more advanced fitness tracker, so the Fitbit Flex is really, really small. So here we'll turn on the lights here. Hang on. So the flex is really small and it came out, oh gosh, three, four years ago. And it has these organic LED lights on there. You can see how they're really bright on the film. Uh, this is about one inch long. You can, so here we go. Here is a coronal marker, a little side comparison, very small. Uh, I'm getting almost six days of battery life. Turned off all the notifications, and uh, it doesn't even buzz me to move. So it buzzes when I reach my goal, and that's it. So that's the low battery indicator. Whereas on the Samsung watch, very different. Uh, depending on your watch face, it's right there. So 89%. Uh, this one will last almost two days and you can actually go and tell you um, Fitbit doesn't quite do that yet even on the new ones it, it'll just kind of tell you oh okay yeah this is gonna roughly be four or five days but the device itself doesn't give you an estimate so now I can go to battery so right now I have about one day and 17 hours and five minutes and that's based off usage so it, it kind of memorizes and learns your scenarios. Uh, right now I have it on an ultralight brightness for the video and I have the always on face off. So I'll turn that off and then uh, when I'm about to go to bed, whoops, swipe down. I'll turn that off. I turn this down so if you want to check your watch time in the middle of the night it doesn't blind you. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. From now on, boom. So now that won't wake me up. So now we'll switch to the other watch I've been wearing for 40 days the Garmin Vivo Sport. Sorry, so this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active, and it came out in February of. 2019. So that's one of the newer ones by Samsung. This is your Garmin Vivo Sport. Uh, pretty cool. I really like it. Battery life, five to six days. Uh, I don't really have any notifications other than phone running on it. it tells you your step count. So I'm almost 10,000. Eight flights of stairs. And it's really bright. Uh, even out inside the sun. Uh, it has electronic uh, ink display, so it's always on. Really nice. So no active minutes today, but I made my goal and doubled it for the week. So pretty cool. I really like this one. Uh, it is more of a fitness tracker. Wow, that's really bright. Uh, and not a smartwatch, but I like it. Now as far as which one's more accurate, you know, I don't know, as far as heart rate, I think they're about the same. Uh, the step count's off right now because I'm using a sync app, and uh, I'll have to go into that in another video. But on a given day, when I'm not syncing steps um, from Garmin over to Samsung, uh, these are about a thousand off from each other. And then the Fitbit, uh, I've been wearing around my neck, so that's at about seven or 8,000 now. So it does get less steps when you wear it in your pocket or around your neck, but it's a little more convenient that way. So yeah, I don't know, we're in three fitness trackers. Oh, it's, uh, it's 
it's been an experiment, that's for sure. Well, let's go back to this one, the Fitbit Flex, and the battery indication. So when you first open up your uh, Fitbit Staps, the device is going to synchronize. And you can see in the top right hand corner the uh, out of battery indicator. Okay, so that's close. Uh, this one's almost 1500 steps less. So you get about 10 to 15 percent less steps when you wear your Fitbit Flex 2 around your neck or in your pocket. Anyway, so it's still synchronizing, but it says the battery is totally empty, and that's why I'm getting that red line. Normally, it'll have the battery indicator with, you know, red or orange, and that usually means you have a day left. So right now, I'm going to charge it, and uh, yeah, because otherwise, I won't track my sleep. But, so those are the two indicators. You can tap on it, like I showed just a minute ago, or you can log into the app, and see the battery status right there. So again, uh, you can see I have all day sync on, notifications, none. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, sure, why not? Sure, why not? Okay, so text message disabled, calls enabled, always vibrate, no, enabled, no, nope, none of that. So nothing fancy, and that helps the uh, Fitbit last longer. I don't even have an alarm set up. I'm using the Samsung for alarms. Anyway, so you can get the Flex 2 to last six days, but you're going to have to make some changes. So step one, tap on the device. If it's really low, it'll get a battery. And then also Fitbit sends you an email when your battery does get low. Typically, when I get the email, I have maybe a day left. So there you go. Six-day battery life on the Flex 2 and two ways to check your battery life. And yes, the Fitbit Flex does detect naps. Today was a rare day and I crashed for almost two hours. Pretty cool. Uh, if you have any questions, make comments below. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching my channel. That's all for today.